my channel thank you for subscribing and if you're new here my name is Mavi Spicy and today is my birthday I'm a year older today thank you and I also wish you drop me a birthday wish down the comment section after this video today I'm going to show you how I created this look for my birthday shoot I really don't want to do something very loud for my birthday this period this year so I just felt you know what let me just have some fun with some little friends so I wanted to look so good and spectacular and I don't want to look so so too much of makeup so I want to create this I decided to create this simple look mattifying look that is that is um, fully I use fully mattifying products in this look and I hope you're going to learn one or two things trying to create this look or trying to see how you can create this look so this I decided to drop, do a video shoot a video for this look and it comes out very awesome and I, I felt it's something I could share with you and um, because I'm super excited today because it's my birthday so I ah, I hope you learned something from this video and if you are just watching if you're just new here kindly subscribe to my channel feel free to share among your friends tell them to come 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 there's a new chicken town in on the vlog so i want you to like this video drop a comment send me a better wish if you want to and at the same time subscribe to my channel uh you can also catch me on other platform i'm on instagram i'm on mavi spicy mavi spicy empire i'm also on facebook and also on twitter if you want to catch me up in other platform and uh, if you love this video if you find it very useful please drop a thumbs up button on this video put a like and drop a comment and don't forget and feel free to share this video i hope you enjoyed this video so uh, i'm just going to go right into how i create this look and it's i call it the peach perfect yeah like the peach perfect look so i'm going to go right straight into how i create this look okay to begin with makeup i already prepped my face with some moisturizer and it's all coming because i want the makeup to have a very matte effect my brows then I will start to apply there's something I want to do today something they call the powder before the foundation technique I'm just trying to make a very matte finish so I'm going to apply my powder this powder it's, it's a very it's a very oil control powder it's pond and I will just apply it on my all over my face before I apply my foundation especially on those my T areas where I usually or we usually sweat the most so we just I'm just going to apply it just like that just to control oil actually I'm going to dust it off with um once we apply the foundation it's going to go all off so it's nothing to worry about I'm just patting it in Mostly on my T-zone here, yes. Because that's where we where the oil accumulates on. And if you have a oily skin, this is the very best, like a very nice method for you to use so that it will not sweat. Not only will it sweat, you also have to keep your your look in check and everything all prim and nice and ready. And before then I'm going to make use of my primer, my Helly Girl primer. It's a very nice one since I started using it. It's really been good for matting. It's a mattifying primer, so it's so I'm just going to apply it in. It not only does it help to keep your face matte, it also stands as a barrier between your skin and your and your after the barrier between your skin and your makeup products. I'm using my brush so that it will just pat into the skin I don't want it to have this white flaky residues it brings out most if you use your hands most times so you notice if you use your hands most times it always have this white flaky on my skin because the other place I'm supposed to have dark spots it's covered it because it has a very deep full coverage and as it also has this orange undertone that doesn't allow that sits very right with my skin so it's my skin tone so it's one thing I one thing I like about this foundation, it's very very affordable, it's cheap and it's it's um, it's, it's fully so you, you also see it has this deep coverage remember we have already applied this oil control powder underneath so you see the foundation doesn't have this oily effect like it should that's, that's why I'm, I'm actually using this 
using that technique, that powder before foundation technique, so that to control her hair. And you can see I'm just patting it into my skin. I'm not rubbing it because the rubbing it is actually taking the product off. But if you just gently pat into your skin, it just sit into the skin just like you should. And it's going into the skin just the way I wanted it to. I'm just going to take everything in slowly by step. I know it's really funny sometimes because um, most people feel um, they have different type of foundation. Some might not even be their skin color. Yeah, sure. Sometimes your face and your skin body can be very different. But if you have a foundation that actually give your skin give a very nice undertone that is compared to your skin tone it's really nice and also i also feel this foundation since i started using this i really don't really have much to do with the powder it looks as if i'm going to go to bed because my face is all matte and all smooth and yeah so before then after then i'm going to go and start working on my eyeshadow i have this um Official natural eyeshadow palette. It's been with me for a while, and I'm actually very in love with the with the product. It's because it's very pigmented, and at the same time, it blends so well. And um, it's nice. It's mostly natural colors. I'm I'm going going to not we're going to use natural colors today. I don't know. I'm just so obsessed with natural colors these days. So I'm using this palette. I'm using my, my eyeshadow brush from Kabuki Brushes. So it's, Mostly what I'm going to be using. Uh, before then, I'm going to apply my my eyeshadow primer. Yeah, why are you, why I use this primer because it's it's not whitish like normal. It's mostly it's um it's not whitish. It's, it has this cream color, and I love about my so and it actually blends with my skin most times. So I'm going to use this, apply it. One thing about applying eyeshadow primer is not only make your eye, uh, eyeshadow color pop out like exactly it is from the palette it also keep everything in check like yeah it makes it add this smooth color and the way it transits between each other also make it perfect so that's why an eyeshadow primer is really recommended where my using the to apply your eye makeup so go with an eyeshadow primer that is so good that suits your skin and at the same time it um, brings out the products you are applying perfectly and that's why I'm doing I'm using that SS eyeshadow primer for this look since I got it it has really been working so perfectly for my eyeshadow it brings out my eyeshadow colors the way I want it and at the same time sometimes I just even don't use to use eyeshadow most most uh, more eyeshadow because I don't need to apply so much anymore because this eyeshadow primer brings out exactly even if you're using a small bit of what you use your, your eyeshadow it brings it out just like that so that's why I'm using this so and apart from so I'm going to go into applying my eyeshadow I have this blended brush then I um I don't know what look I'm trying to put exactly but I just know I want a very simple look a very nice look and the way it looked at the way make me all pop out only the photo shoots and all that you know now you know how today is supposed to be now and don't forget like um like i said it's like it's for my makeup baby makeup shoot so i don't know i just decided to do a makeup video today i'm not supposed to i'm just supposed to make up and go out and have a baby shoot but you know how it is i just feel like let me just film this look so that i can you can see how i glam myself up for my baby so I'm going to use this color in fearless for my transition color. It's, it has this orange tone, so it's really nice. It's very it has orange tone. Look at that. I just have like small and you see how popped out the, the eyeshadow came out like no like the crease here is so nice. This under or uh, orange under tone and I love the fact that it's really really nice. I'm just going to continue working on my crease area. So 
So I'm changing my brush and using a more peachy tone to work on my to do that my transition color just to blend it out with that one I was using before. I'm just blending it out, it's not applying it. I'm using a clean brush for it, so I'm just trying to use that to transit to blend it out. Yeah, it's a more lighter color. Now I'm having this peachy look and I think that's going to go well with what I'm trying to create today. Some summer vibe look. Let's just put it that way. Um, so I'm still going back with that color I used first to make sure that that my piece here has out the more. One thing about eyeshadow application is that the, from the moment you can blend very well, it all gives this um, transition, like it all makes the eyeshadow look as if it's transiting into each other, so it adds this uh, flawless look. So I think um, I'm, I'm done with this, so I'm going to work on my outer V. Um, I actually don't want to use a, do a smoky look today, but let me just use this dark color to just bring out my outer V. Like, uh, okay, I don't want to dark color, so we are just then we are also trying to make it blend into also, like stick it in, make sure it's blending. Yeah. Okay, for doing my cut crease, I think I should just do a cut crease look on my eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Um I'm going to use that my same that same eyeshadow primer I used before to cut my crease. Just a simple cut crease. I'm not going to do all lot of that, so I'm just Okay, so uh, I have this little high shadow, mineral high shadow from um, Overshadow. It's um, it's a mineral high shadow, and it's really nice. It has this little look, and I really, really love the effect. I tried it one of these, these days, and I felt like, wow, let me. And one thing about this eyeshadow is that I can also use it as my highlighter. It's really nice. So I'm just going to use a small portion of it on this my cut crease level. So I'm just going to use it, pat it into my my face. Okay, I'm done my lashes and my eyes. Behind the camera, I have this my lashes, my all-time favorite from Bon Beauty's in one i forgot the the number but it's really long and i like it that way for this today's look okay yeah, then i'm going to go with my highlight and contour i'm using my heli girl pro concealer in the color toffee for my highlight and color mahogany for my for my contour so i'm going to just apply Don't want too much of the, too much of the. I like so I'm using this mm, like a yeah darker shade. It's a bit dark, but it's, it's lighter than my skin tone. Then I use 
this one the darker shade for my contour my contour my nose yeah I'll put that in the aloe of my cheekbone and I will also go ahead and fix that on my forehead then somewhere around here too For my highlight and contour then I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend all this but before then I'm just going to do my contour blending first I like to blend my contour first so I blend it with this brush just a bit of packing so that they can stick in right into the skin I take it in my forehead Pack it into my forehead. Yeah, and the hollow of my cheek. I just want everything to sit in perfectly. I don't want all this um, too much of oil. That's why I'm having this much. Room. My cons my highlight is not too light, and it's not the one that has so much oil. So I'm just going to go into continue patting this one into my skin I'm just going to take that slowly sometimes I'm going to use a smaller brush from that because some, that one can be very tricky sometimes so I'm using this smaller blending brush then I'm going to use the contour my nose And then I'm going to go ahead and do my blend in my, uh, my highlight. Yeah, let's see, it's really different. I like how this one came out. Yeah, let's pat it in as if in a slower, in a smooth. Just pat it in. You just need you to pat it in. You don't need to rub. Um, and also this one. Yeah, I'm still going to work on that. My contour of my nose is seen somehow. Don't worry. Everything will blend in place. Um, I'm going with my foundation brush to blend this in. I want you to have this uh, uniform look. Just don't go on to this. Yeah, better now. Then I'm still going to work on contouring that my nose. From the for the powder contouring and a light, I'm going to use my my, my um, Sasha Buttercup concealer um, and mean setting powder. For that, I'm going to use this um, brush to apply it under my eye. I don't want to. Why I'm using this one also is also keep all the old, um, oil in check so that you don't want your face to be creasing after a while because of too much of oil. So if you have an oil, oil skin, it's very advisable you use a setting powder that like has oil control and butter. Sasha butter coat is something that is so nice. You can also use Benai also. I love Benai also. Then I'm just going to set my t-zones just place you know you can you usually sweat the most that is your forehead 
back of your nose, the bridge of your nose, then under your eyes, under your eyes, then your down on your cheek, your jaw. Yeah, and that's it. And for my for my contour cream, I'm using this. Um, this dark color from the Tara powder palette. I always like to use this dark color because it's, it's mostly very nice for my own contour. Yeah. Just apply small because it's kind of very dark. It depends on your shade anyway. So work with one that suits your shade. But I always like to use it. So I'm just going to pat it also on the, my forehead. Yeah, so I have this um, So I want to dust off this big. I don't really want to dig that much because um, I'm not in a hurry. So I'm just going to dust all this look out. I'm still going to use that this lighter shade of powder from my Tara palette to just dust all this SS butter, Sasha butter from setting powder of my face, and also to make all this blend all together. So I will start by doing this. I already worked on under my eye. I use this um, there's this um, greenish uh, eye pencil I use to create that as well as blending with one of the shades of my one of my eye eyeshadow palettes. So I have this under green under my eyes and it's really nice. Don't forget this this method is just for you to dust out this excess you can at the same time try to create this um, similar look with the whole of the makeup look. So you can just start using your finishing powder. I use my Laura Mercier finish powder. It's um, it's perfecting powder. It has a very matte effect also. So it's, it's not the one that brings up or yeah for a control. So I'm using this to finish up this look. On, under my eye, I use this. Um, there's this um, greenish uh, eye pencil I use to create that as well as blending with one of the shades of my one of my eye eyeshadow palettes. So I have this under green under my eyes, and it's really nice. Don't forget this. This method is just for you to dust out this excess. You can at the same time try to create this um, similar look with the whole of the makeup look. So you can just start using your finishing powder. I use my Laura Mercier finish powder. It's um, it's perfecting powder. It has a very matte effect also. So it's it's not the one that brings out or yeah for a control. So I'm using this to finish up this look.
hand for blush i'm using this um, palette from careline yeah clean line product so i going to use um, a very light blush yeah i don't want too much so i'm going to use a bit oh that was too much yeah that's that will do so i'm going to use my powder brush to fix that in yeah i like the feel of it it's nice I really need to do this my nose contour very well so I'm going to stick right with my to contour that nose perfectly. I just like to do this because it's actually helped me a lot. To achieve that chisel nose, yeah, really help me. Sorry, my hand must be just the job of achieving this look, and it really comes out very nice. So, you have that chisel. I know naturally I don't have that chisel nose, but you know now, the baby girl has to do what she has to do to have this pointed nose. Yeah. That's done, so I'm going to work on my lip. I already have this. Um, okay, I'm going to work on concealing. I don't know the lip I'm going to use, but I think let me just go for a peachy look since I already have um, more peach. Don't mind me, I'm, hanging, I'm using one of my concealer to blow my lips. I want it to be very defined, so that's why. So I have this. Um, lip liner from Laura Mercier and it's in their shade in the shade there so it's this brown it has this uh, purple that purplish look so I'm just going to use to outline outline my lip I actually use it most times because it's uh, if you don't want that chocolate look it gives you more of the violet color Actually, in what's the weight? It's called what's the weight lip, lipstick. It has this dark peachy look. So, since I'm working on peach today, I'm going to use mostly. And it's one of my favorites because I use it most of the time. Yeah. I use it most of the time. I don't know. I just like the look on my lips. I just like how it blends perfectly on my lips. Sometimes I, I can still go back to my Kerline lip set and get this peachy look. But oh, this is the set thing. Very defined look. I decided to use one of my old time favorites from Classic Cosmetics, and the lip, lip gloss in in look to to put definite to serve as my lip liner. I like how this make this this um, lipstick comes out because it's very matte. my cover girl katy perry versus cover girl lip gloss katy perry gloss it's really really amazing i really love how this 
this lip gloss works with my lips so it, now it finished that peachy look so I have this soft and it's giving, giving my lip that gloss that I want and sometimes I really like to work on create outline in my lips to make it pop out the more so I'm going to use one of my concealer so Because I don't want too much of glow, I'm going to use this my Luminous Mary Blue from CoverGirl. It's really nice for in a very small quantity today. Don't want too much of glow. In just a very small quantity. And I finished that glow look with my uh, all favorite and a special Beverly Hills in Go Glow Getter. So. Okay, you see that this look is actually very very matte like the skin feels like there's no no form of oily effect on it it's all matte and i really love the outcome of this look i feel feel refreshed i don't feel like i have so much makeup on my face because i i think i think that power before foundation method is really very nice it gives you this you see have this um like you had you are very very hydrated not the address, no. Like you feel 
you have this freshness on your face you don't have all this bulk of makeup on your face i feel my face is very light and i feel my face is just so smooth like i feel there's no atom of oil on my face and it's really really nice for me i think i'm going to try my hands on other products i think i have a, this dollar product from um, door 10. it's also a cream highlighter very old it's very yeah like i like the fact that it's also very light The cream I like and it's very light. It's something I just got and I'm trying my hands on it. So I think I'm going to work on it next time I'm doing a makeup video so you can see it. So it's also nice. So this is all about this look. I hope you've been able to pick up something. I applied my Kiss Beauty Primer Water Makeup Mixer. I also has this glow effect, so I kind of use it for my skin sometimes to give me this awesome glow. Apart from my skin glow, I also have this awesome glow from this product, and I feel so fresh, refreshed, and ready to enjoy the day, like have fun. As it's my birthday, so I'm trying to go out and have fun. And um, it's so hot in there, so I wanted something very light, something very matte, and I, I think I've been able to achieve this look with you guys watching the step in which I wish I was using to achieve this look. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you be able to create this look, recreate this look if you want to. And um, every product I use in this video is on the description box, so you can check down below to see any of the products you couldn't catch properly all products used in this video is in the description box so try to check it out and also check out my other videos if you if you are not too sure most of the products i use in my other videos are also being used in this video so it's really really nice doing this video i'm feeling like a baby girl because this look is so refreshing like i'm very very free like i really love this look it's one of my amazing look for the while for a while now so I like this look and I think you I wish you join me in my next video subscribe to my channel if you like this video just drop a thumbs up to it and also subscribe you can also feel free to share this video with your friends and invite them to my channel subscribe to my channel and let me drop a comment what you want to see in my next video and I think I can do a video a vlog for my birthday activities nothing says I'm not doing anything special but I am just gonna hang out with some few friends and um, yeah, I'm just gonna have fun. It's summer, so I have this summer look and it's called the Peach Perfect. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>